Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Evil Space. Now, as you can see, yeah, I've been a little busy around here. I was trying to get some sort of, I guess we'll call it storefront for uh, the concrete here. I've been trying to keep, keep an eye on how things are going now. They're kind of uneven. Don't pay attention to this, because I have used a lot, and I'll show you that in a minute. I have been quite busy, but uh, what I've done is, in the back here, yeah, it's uh, a little noisy. Uh, I, what I, I was noticing that... Uh, one arm was grabbing twice as much as the other, so I ended up putting a return loop on there. And it seems to be working okay, but it's it's not enough. It's not producing for the amount of building I can do. And I actually went through all my reinforced concrete, like, pretty quick. Uh, this line, I have asked about. We'll see see what he does, but uh, I'll show you some of the things I've done. One of the things I've done is I started build, laying out the roads to the this industrial park. I do plan on put, building factories around this stuff. That's why I've got stuff building blocks being produced of everything I can and uh, there's a few other things I have done around here what else? over here well, I the facade over there tried to start working around with the lights I had the, the pot lights originally I'd set up over there but it wasn't really lighting up the tiles up top so I just moved them up a little bit and same thing got the return systems on there uh, I sort of repurposed this area over here uh, what I have done is I put the miner back in there I got miner turning uh, stone into gravel, or master turning stone into gravel, gravel into sand, goes into a smelter, which comes into glass. So we got glass being produced. Uh, I got the farm producing wood and uh, circuit boards. So I got circuit boards, I got planks. Uh, I can't make the actual wooden blocks yet, but uh, I can make them when I need them, but at the same time we can use these for th different things. Uh, these will, we'll need for the circuits. Uh, there was a bit of a bug in it didn't really know about that the cutting machines wouldn't cut the logs and you actually had to reinstall the game so it does work now so that's good so we got this going uh, everything here is all connected to that and yes I put a second second set of stacks up here just to increase production that's uh, all tier two so I've got loads of stuff loads of fuel as long as these belts are full I know I have adequate fuel supply but that'll change pretty quick because that's not even full capacity uh, I have been busy making more conveyors because uh, I want to upgrade all these lines today. Uh, I want to double up the steel on this line over here because I'm not getting the production I want out of these lines here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put a, second, uh, put a second pair over here and then have each, you know, each type of reinforced concrete having their own steel line creating parts. So I'm going to do that. That's why I've expanded the area over there. Uh, these are all copper. These are going to be upgraded. Uh, I'm not going to upgrade those two miners to iron. And that one to iron as well for the copper. And we're going to get this going a little bit. So I'm going to take care of that. And I will be right back. Okay, I am back. I am done. It took me a while. Uh, but I still have some steel conveyors left. But it's a good thing I made all of them. Cause it took a while. Uh, this junction here was kind of bugging me, so I actually brought them up too, too higher, so now it's all level, so we can have, have our conveyor highway coming along. Oh, I forgot to take those blocks out. Keep falling off these things. It's not easy. Oh, I didn't actually read this one. I'll do this one later. Uh, yeah, so I got everything made now to double up the steel production. So we're going to work on this side here, because I really want to get this going. Uh, you know, if I want to be making roads out of the reinforced concrete I want to have that but I don't want to hinder production of everything else but this is all that has been done I got the conveyors coming down this side here this time so it's just gonna be uh, basically me repeating everything here I forgot the masters and the hammers and uh, the sterling engines and uh, we're gonna get some heat pipes going so let me do this and I'll be right back oh yes uh, one of the other things I've done uh, something else I've done I will find out what exactly happened when I get there uh, I was trying to build a line of blocks out from this platform to see, you know, go like 800, 900 blocks. It was like 889 when I decided to place, and I guess I looked up or misclicked or something. When I placed it, and placed the blocks. But I think I have a tower of 900 blocks out here. So we'll, we'll figure that out when we get there. Um, I also want to try to get some automation going, especially on these pipes, because they're such a pain in the ass to, to craft. They take so long. Like not, well, it's okay when I'm using plates, but when I'm plates, I've got this whole bracket of ingots here. I, like to, I have been doing research. I don't know if I showed this last episode, but I'm going to show it anyways. 
Uh, I sort of automated the, the basic research at first. I just got a chest with a whole bunch of the circuits in there. It's automatically feeding into into the computer. Uh, speaking of research, uh, there has been other additions when we have the constructor now. The constructor actually allows us to uh, build things that we normally build by hand as the assemblers only for the circuits. Now, for the circuits, I'm definitely going to have to start mass producing those things. Because if we go, go down here, now this is a bit of a rabbit hole, I believe. I believe these are the highest here, the ultimate computations. There's deep computations, ultimate computations, complex computations, quantum computations, and so on and so forth. Now, the, uh, what are the ultimate? Uh, where is the ultimate? There we go. The ultimate. The ultimate only comes from the quantum processor. The quantum processor is made by one processor on quantum circuit. Uh, the quantum circuit is made by advanced circuit board, which is plastic and gold wire, so we'll have to get gold eventually, and quantum core, which is copper parts and rare earth element, no, but it, because it's a R9 icon, it's still in there, and that goes to a chemical reactor with sulfuric acid and aluminum impure or dust, now that's sulfuric acid, and it's just going through a chemical reactor with sulfur, which comes from uh, oil and water and yada 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 yada, but it's going to be a while before we, well, either, needless to say, I'm going to need these being produced endless. So we're definitely going to get into that. That's where this, this shelf comes in handy. And that's where this rack over here comes in handy. So that's going to be something going on. But uh, since we're here, we'll get some research done. Oh, there was a total uh, scanner. Let me get away from this. God, that's so I like the sounds, but it's not idea. So the scanner is basically all this is as far as I know. So I want to actually make one of these. See what I'm missing here. Oh, are those advanced circuits? Oh, they are. Okay, well, then that means we'll have to do that next time. That means we have to uh, get into. There we go. Get the silicon. We gotta get silicon oxide. Electrolyzer. Silicon oxide comes from sand to a separator. And sand we're producing. That we can produce, anyways. So that'll be the next step, but I want to get a little bit of building done today. That's what it's all about. So uh, let me double up that steel production and then uh, we'll start working on these two guys here. Okay, so I do have it all finished now. I do have the second line set up. I'll get up onto my perch here. Actually, we'll very well, not the roof because we a better view up here. So I do have everything uh, upgraded to Mark two. I do have four separate lines going to uh, the reinforced concrete mixers and then what I've done just for aesthetic purposes I put the conveyor belts upside down so the boxes are actually hanging from it I thought that was an interesting little touch uh, I forgot that I put the uh, steel storage here so they hold 4,000 so it might take a little while for the, the miners to catch up I may have to add a few more out there but if it comes to it then that's what's gonna be but we're pretty good we're about this one's got 1,800, and the rest of them have about 800 or so, so it'll keep production going for now. But anyways, let's uh, start building. So uh, I think I want to work on the copper line first, because I do want to double this up. I have uh, should be able to get another two runs coming off of this, but I want to have it sort of like multi-level. So I want to get uh, sort of a building theme going, and it's sort of going to be progression-based. So, you know, for instance, the copper age, you're dealing with copper and wood and brick so it's going to be that sort of style uh thinking about changing the floor i don't know what i'm gonna change it oh by the way uh, i don't know if i mentioned already but uh developer worked really hard and uh really quick and got that line removed so that's good you can sort of see where it is but that's that's fine uh what he did do is add a little bit of surprise there's apparently a speed boost when you run on reinforced concrete and concrete now so that uh, really makes it handy because it's going to be a lot of running around I'm going to be doing it in this place. Uh, it doesn't seem to really get too much extra boost on the jetpack, but that's fine. Anyway, so I, as you notice, I do have blocks sort of here and here, and that was where I was going to lay out the first buildings. I just realized this one's out of place because of that. And I might be able to move it. Have a look. I can always move the... With the condenser, that's not an issue. Do I have blocks? Yes, I do. So 
So, uh, these are going to be the corners here and here then. I'm going to line up with that. I'm thinking about doing like a common area. Maybe get like a plaza going around the, the core, which is yet to be increased, which actually has a one gigajoule capacity now. And I was actually impressed with that. One gigajoule. So that's good. So we're not too bad. Production holding up. Got it back up on the line, so we got plenty of fuel. So let me get some building supplies, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So what I've decided is I'm going to go ahead with a terracotta tile on the floor. And you know, like I said, I want to try to keep the building style sort of um, to what we currently have at that tier. So I'm thinking I'm going to get sort of a bit of a warehouse going with... Uh, I'm going to... Well, I'm going to I'll get the bricks first, but I want to take out the floor and use the terracotta tiles, which are going to be like that. Uh, hang on a second here. Let me grab one other thing over here. I have been crafting a little bit, as you can tell, and I definitely got to get those heat pipes going on automatic. All right, so what my idea is, is I'm going to have a line of bricks on the bottom. And then I was going to be using wood planks for a trim on top, and that's going to, or not necessarily a trim on top, but the, the main walls. This will be the foundation, this will be the walls. And then for the inside, it's going to, I was thinking, uh, I'm making them right now, but I was going to go ahead and use a scaffolding. But anyways, let me uh, build the outer walls, and I'll be right back. And I'm back. Oh, I guess I should change this one out too while I'm here. Oh, I put the terracotta away. I'll do it later. Uh, so this is the floor, uh, the shop with the floor in it. Uh, what I want to do is, like I said, I want to do get a second production line going about them. I'm going to have it sort of on an elevated floor. Uh, this is sort of what I'm going to go with the outside here. Uh, if we're jumping around like that. Uh, I have no idea which way this window is. That's the right way. Okay. Now it's going to be windows like so. Uh, across the side here. That's the right way. Uh, there is probably going to be a doorway there. And, but for the inside, oops, that's not the multi-tool. Uh, I want to have a second level, but I want to sort of have it elevated on scaffolding. Now, uh, I think I wanted to go there so we can have a little bit of walking room because I kind of built this a little small, but that's fine. Uh, of course, we're using a tier that we're building with, or we're making, or processing, I should say. Uh, everything's too high. See how that looks because we're going to be putting a floor on top. I'm going to be putting a floor on top on, on that. And I think that should work. Uh, I do want to sort of have it look structurally sound. Uh, it's kind of a double in here, so sure we'll put it right, I'll put it right at the rack like that. And down here, probably same as a window spaced up every three. Like that like that. That, yeah, and one, two, three. Hmm. Oh, that's fine because uh, machines end here. Keep it uniform, go right there, and that actually works out in the corner. That's the thing I don't like about these things is it's you actually have to hit the actual frame. There is no hitbox, so I can mine those bricks right through, right through the scaffolding. No complaints, I do like the, the models. So there's going to be that, and then for the floor... I was thinking I was just going to go ahead and stay with the wooden floor, so I'll bring you back when that's done. Okay, so here's what I got. I put uh, enough scaffolding, I think, to hold that floor up. I know it's just decoration, but whatever. I got the lights there, and now I'm having one of those moments that I realized, oh yeah, I still got to get the heat pipes in there. So the next step is going to be cutting holes in the floor for the heat pipe. Okay a bit of a network to connect them and then just having one main line coming down probably right in the middle here I think in the middle of the mess so let me do that and we'll be right back okay I think I got it all in place I hope the place hasn't burned down that's for sure uh, I was gonna look and see if there's maybe a way I can save pipe probably not anyway well, it's getting dark again I'll just set uh, day instead of the morning we did get some stairs here too, so that's pretty good. So now it's just a matter of remembering which machines I have where. So these are going to be the hammers, I do believe. Uh, yes. So uh, I'm going to keep everything in the same tier that we have already. Okay, hammer on that side. The hammer is... 
on this side here. Oh, I got both on the same side. I didn't go opposite. I guess not. Okay. So then it's the hammer and two, uh, two macerators, which are on this side here. Uh, where are they? There they are. Alright, one there. What did I do wrong down here? Oh yeah, I left it. left the gap. Anyway, I'm going to mirror this up off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm done. So I've got... Um, this arm feeding up to the hammer upstairs from the, the chest or the, the item rack and I have this one feeding up from this belt. Now that I'm thinking about it, I might actually have to put a... Yeah, I'm wondering if maybe I gotta add another belt or a better arm. I think we'll be okay though. So this is the upper, top, upper floor, so everything is running by the sounds of it. Uh, see what happens here. I want to make sure that both of these are actually getting enough. I can't remember if I upgraded that, that section down below. Oh, I love that jetpack. Or steam pack, I should say. Uh, I'll just check my arms here. Yeah, everything's fine. It should be fine. It'll work, out, work itself out eventually. Uh, actually, let's check the heat. See how we're doing. Still doing pretty good, but uh, such a low number, something tells me that something's not running. I have no idea what it is, something's backed up, but anyway. Uh, so now to fill this in, uh, by the looks of it, I'm going to have to go... Oh, there's another save. Uh, I'm probably going to extend the windows up one more, and then maybe cap it off, I don't know. Uh, let me finish it up, and I'll bring it back. Okay, I am just about done. I'm just, as you can see, I'm just doing the... The front walk here of the places. Uh, one thing I didn't actually notice is the concrete, concrete texture has been changed. If this is just a regular concrete, it's got more of a, a white color to it than uh, instead of the uh, brownie kind of texture it was before. And again, we get, do get the speed boost on this, not as much reinforced, but that works. But anyways, this is what I have created. I decided to go with a terracotta tile roof because you know that is a thing. I was thinking of doing sort of just a standard peak roof, and then I thought, well, let's go for this, and this seems to work. I was thinking about adding scaffolding on the outside to, as like little supports to go up to the roof, but it sort of coincides with the light, and I don't want to put the light here, even though it would line up with that, but it would be in the window. Uh, you know what? I think I might actually change this. Let me try something. Okay, so that's with the scaffolding, and I'll be honest, I don't like it. I think it sort of almost like it's trying to cover up the face almost like it's under construction or something so i want to take that down okay so that one is done uh yeah so i actually had to move this conveyor a little bit oh, this out of the way i did have to move this out of the way because it was sort of coming down there so that sort of dips in so i can keep that overhang on the roof then go in here and then we have our factory up and running it's all noisy and all that stuff and go up to the second floor I actually like this sort of atmosphere, well, I won't say atmosphere, but environment that it creates. Having a uh, uh, curved terracotta roof. But it uh, makes it look quite interesting, but yeah, uh, this is all up and running. We have got stuff going into all the machines. Uh, I forgot a few of Sterling generators, so... Or, uh, yeah, I forgot a few Sterling generators, and I actually forgot to hook up that furnace over there, so... Or, it's not there. Anyways, so I'm looking at, I looked at the time, and we're not too bad. I think we've got time to work on this side over here. I basically have a different building theme for that. I have been checking the uh, production here. I did load everything up, but the chest is somewhat full, so that's good. Uh, I don't know how the ores are doing. Uh, might have to, like I said, get another couple of miners going to keep this going if it comes down to it. Uh, the way it's basically going to work, it's going to have to wait until one of these fills up before the other ones start filling up. I had to switch the arms down to the tier one. That's why they're so slow, because it was taking everything right off the belt and leaving nothing for this one. Anyway, uh, let me uh, get ready for the, the next building. Okay, I'm back. So I've been thinking about this one too, and I want to have this one, like I said, a little bit different. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with... 
I just do a little bit of a corner here. Uh, make sure we're going to be in. So, uh, yeah, right here should be good. I'm going to have the concrete tiles as a floor. Yeah, we actually go on the outside here. All right, and then for the, the foundation wall, it's going to be the regular bricks or the regular concrete or concrete bricks. And then I'll have a concrete wall on top. That actually going to work. That is concrete, is it not? Yeah, I think that'll work. I don't know if it's really going to work with that, but I was going to be using uh, the reinforced concrete bricks as accent pillars. I was hoping this would be a little bit wider, but I don't want to use the, the tile, so I think I'm going to go with that. So I'm going to replace the floor. I have made a whole bunch of all the machines that I need. Uh, I probably have more stuff on me than I actually need, but uh, what I did forget to do is I forgot to upgrade those to uh, Tier 2, and same with the Atmospheric Condenser down here. Uh, so I have basically rebuilt everything, uh, thinking... I was going to have this one up on the second floor, but I think I might have it down here and just have the pipes going up to the second floor. But anyways, I got a floor to change, so I'll let me do that and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So I got the floor set up. I replaced uh, the farms already and the atmospheric condensers. I'm going to have both of these down here. I'm going to have two more floors on the farms on the second floor. And I'm going to be doing the floor a little different than the other one there. So. I'm going to go ahead and start with our brick trim going all the way around. I haven't figured out where I'm going to put the doors in this place yet. So we'll just run around here quickly, do this. I guess so. I don't, I don't have to do this on camera, but I am. So deal with it. Alright, like so. Uh, I am going to have the concrete walls, but we're also going to have windows. Um, I haven't decided the spacing on the windows yet. Uh, let me see here. Maybe we'll go with like a, just a double on this one. Let's see how far this goes. As far as spacing goes and all that stuff. Maybe I'll luck out and... Not work out the way I want it. Uh, I can shorten the front if I need to a little bit. I don't want to go too close to the street. I stop there and then be there and uh might work. I am planning on moving things around here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have three three racks inside, and then have the chests on the inside, so I might be able to do that. Let me think about this for just a second. Okay, so here's what I got for the outside, and so far it's not looking too bad. I actually sort of do like that to try to get that spacing right and I always met time is auto save just perfectly okay like that uh, I didn't want to go every pillar because I wanted, didn't want it to feel too cluttered so on this one I'm going to be skipping every second window and on front and back I'm going to go on every other it just sort of happens to work out with the doorway and uh, and the windows so next is to put the floor in now I'm going to be going ahead with the, the concrete tiles again for the floor, but I'm not going to be going up to the edge. I'm just going to be going on uh, the inside and I think, I think I'm going to go up one more level because uh, I want to just have a little bit extra room. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and finish this up, get another ring around here, put a floor on the inside and I'll bring you back and we'll put the machines in. Okay, so there is the floor. And we'll see how we are doing for room down here. Not bad, not bad. Uh, air quality could be a little bit better, but tell anybody. Anyway, so now I just got a matter of putting holes in for the old heat pipes. And uh, I was complaining about having to craft a whole bunch, and I actually found a whole bunch in a chest. So at least that saves me a few minutes. So yeah, uh, this is going to be fairly simple. I'm going to get this all set up, and I'll bring you back. Okay, so I got all the heat pipes in. I put some lights in down here to see the, the haze. Oh, that's what I forgot. Not quite enough to get up here without the, the extra jump. But I do have everything all set up up here. All I have to do is just configure everything and uh, also pull off the conveyors. So what I'm thinking about doing is... Oh, we're going to take a conveyor. 
I'm gonna put it actually. I made two more shelves or two more racks. I'm gonna put those there. I do actually have to hook up the water pipe here. Uh, let's get that out and we do that. And oh, I just happened to take the one note that had the light on it. Haha. <laughs> of course. Okay, so I just gotta connect to that. Uh, let's see if I can do this. Oh, I guess it helps if I actually select it. Oh, yes, I'm using copper pipe. Of course I am. That'll be a quick fix. Uh, yeah, we'll make 15. And I'll be done in just a second. Alright, I'll go up and up and... Okay, it is connected. Oop. Not power going good today. Certainly not with a jetpack. Probably it's unnecessary. Just like that autosave. Anyway, well, let's actually just do it this way. Easier. Alright. So that's going to hook up the atmospheric condensers. Uh, all you got left to do is just get the conveyors pulling in the... the uh, iron off the other, or the arms pulling off the iron off the other conveyors. So we just do that. Okay, that is all connected. And now, for the last part, the, the conveyor is here. Okay, we do that. We go over here and like that. Then one more there. That gonna work. Now that's gonna fit because that one's in the back. Yes. Alright, there we do, conveyor there, the conveyor there, and that should start pulling stuff off. And it's going to pull everything off, of course it is. Well, that means we're going to have to double up the miner then. Yeah, looks like it. Because this is going to take everything now, not the one at the bottom. Maybe. Maybe I'm going to switch it up. Maybe I'll actually pull it off the shelf down below. And that way everything can go in here. What we'll do is we'll just do... Do that. I'll do one down there. And we'll connect the con conveyors. Oh. Helps if I go the right way. Yeah, let's try this again. Okay, it's facing up. Okay, let's do that. And that should go up in here, which will go into there. Okay. Now uh, go on and fill up my hole. Not that hole, so don't even think about it. Now the question is, would you have thought about it if I didn't say anything? Probably not. Alright, and hammer time. Alright, let's... Uh, okay, we're going up with that. That. And do the same thing with the conveyor. That, and that. And there's a light in the way. Of course there is. That means I have to jump down and get all this stuff because that's all I got left. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so broke. Come on. Excuse me. I'd like to get out, please. That'll do. Thank you. A little too high, but... Beggars can't be choosers, right? Alright, so... I go... Put that up again, like so. And conveyor. Okay, now I can fill in the fill in the gap. So that'll do that, that'll do that. I don't have to worry about this slowing down. I do have everything mark one. So at least everything's gonna go into one and then it'll work itself out from there. The only thing I'll have to do is set these up. Okay, and then set you up. Excuse me, let me in. Like so, and that's going to be producing. 
So all that's left to do is me put the, finish up the walls, put the roof on, and the pillars, and I'll be right back. Okay, I am done. So this is the second floor. Uh, what I've done is I've got uh, concrete tiles on the inside for ceiling. Uh, I actually had to go one block higher on the outside of the building. Yeah, I gotta deal with this. Uh, because uh, the conveyors are actually in the way. Uh, what I've done is I got the pillars going up, but I kind of left this here just for whatever. Uh, just because I didn't want to have to move the building or the conveyors. But that's what we have. This is the outside. That's yeah, looking... That's actually not looking too bad. I think it could be a little bit more something under the windows. I'm almost wondering if maybe I should have had that... That... Uh, the floor line showing up. Or something like... Right there, just showing through, but it kind of—I uh, don't know. I sort of like the plain old concrete on the outside, but there we have it. We have our first, our second building. Our got a little bit of light, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, and I actually ended the episode already, but I didn't actually record the last part. But uh, yeah, the, so there we go. Get some light on the situation. Uh, it's sort of a similar style to the the building I actually work in. Needless to say, it is extremely old and not a place I want to be in most of the time. But anyways, so yeah, there we go. There's the outside of our building. This is the inside of our uh, smoky warehouse. Uh, Compensation, you better not see this place, I tell you. Oh, I can't even get up there. I should make some stairs. But you get the idea. There is our steel production and so on and so forth. Uh, I'm having a terrible time doing this today. There we go. So at least we're getting some some building going on. It's going to be quite something to see all these roads connecting. I uh, haven't decided what I'm going to put there yet. We'll figure that out when the time comes. But there is definitely going to be uh, a central warehouse at some point in time where all this stuff that gets produced gets shipped to or uh, byproducts that they get made by. Uh, also, I did forget a whole bunch of research. If I didn't already say this in the last clip, I just all over the place all of a sudden uh, but I'm going to get some research done between now and the next episode I'm doing a constructor right now probably a few things like tier 2 machines a separator refiner in the next episode we'll probably start getting those advanced circuits made but anyways I thank you all so much for watching hope you enjoyed if you did leave me a like and as always I'll see you in the next one later